So this summer, I started directing wedding ceremonies. And I'm talking about walking everybody through the rehearsal and being there at the ceremony itself, not only providing the DJ services, but the back end support with microphones and things, and taking on the job as director. Why? Well, everybody used to get married at churches. And when they did, the clergy of the church, whoever they happened to be, whatever type of church it happened to be, had rules. This is how weddings work in our religion. This is how we do it at our church. They'd walk you through it. And the organist knew all the musical cues. It was kind of the same thing every Saturday. And, and they had a system and you stayed out of it. You know, that's what the church did. But today people are getting married in backyards, parks, restaurants, barns, wherever, you name it. And sometimes they're getting married by a family member. They're actually having family members getting ordained online and, and performing the ceremony. Or maybe a couple secretly gets married at the courthouse and then just kind of goes through a faux ceremony in front of family and friends with a family member of their choice. So they need somebody to come in and tell them what to do. Now, here's how it happened. My daughter actually had my friend, her godmother, perform the wedding ceremony. Now, my friend had never done a wedding ceremony before, had to get ordained and all that. We're at the rehearsal. Nobody's really taking charge of how this should work. So I stepped up and I ran the thing and it went pretty good. And then I think it was a week and a half ago, a friend of mine got married. I attended the rehearsal. Again, things weren't quite going as smoothly as they were expected to. There was an officiant there who had experience, but I think the group was just a little too rambunctious for her to control. So I stepped in, started screaming at people and made it happen and pulled it off. It worked out pretty nice. I've been asked to do it again. It's like a new thing. Like I didn't need a new thing to do as a wedding DJ because I really just want to DJ and I get roped into these other things because I'm there and I can. And here's another one. Wedding ceremony director. I'm not interested in like getting ordained and marrying people. I'm drawing the line there. I got it on video saying it and I mean it. I don't want to do it. But yeah, I haven't come up with a price structure for this or anything else, but it's just kind of a role that I've stepped into, like many of the other roles that we step into as a DJ. And I do understand that a service like this will require you to attend a rehearsal. And if you're doing a Saturday wedding, that kind of screws up your Friday. So you have to compensate yourself for the loss of revenue that you could possibly make at a wedding on a Friday. You can't give this away. It's got to cost something, but it's a valuable service. People want their weddings to go well. They want them to look good on video, all that kind of stuff, and we can help. So anyway, quick video for you. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. We'll see you soon. Practice and enjoy.